We are live in Peoria. Tonight, the final game of the third round of TBT. My name is Damon Lewis. I'm a producer at Tupelo Honey, and this week we are producing the basketball tournament. The basketball tournament is a 64 team event where the winner takes home $1 million. With it being a three week event that gets played across the country, in previous years the travel has been pretty extensive. You know, you might be in Brooklyn, New York one week and Wichita, Kansas the next week. But this year we chose to produce the event remotely using Live View from our building in Indianapolis. So without the amount of travel, we've been able to do a little bit more on the production side to really amp up the event. Sword for the win. He got it! A stunner! I'm John Cervizi. I'm the Chief Technology Officer at Tupelo Honey. Prior to the start of the pandemic, we were developing some Remy control rooms in our Indianapolis headquarters, and obviously the pandemic accelerated that process. LiveView around the same time was ready to release the LU800 series, the most advanced transmission system that they've released to this point, allowing us really to bring four signals on each remote unit back to Indianapolis in full HD and with very minimal latency, which is obviously extremely important when you're producing sports. Tonight, our game is taking place in Peoria, Illinois, about 200 miles away, three hours from Indianapolis. On site at Peoria, we have eight cameras, two LU-800s, in addition to one of our remote production vehicles. All of those CCU-based cameras are connected to the LU-800s on site. They're brought back to Indianapolis with under a second of latency to be integrated into the production here in our Indianapolis control rooms. The way the bracket works in the tournament, we have two sites going on simultaneously. By producing the event remotely using Live View, all of that video is coming back through our facility. And so I can take video from another game going on at a different site and I can show that to my audience. Let's take you to what happened just moments ago at the West Virginia Regional, a down to the wire finish. Take it away, Philip to Jones for the win, it's over! The ability for our crews to take feeds from the other game to produce look-ins and to deliver a kind of holistic look at what's happening within TBT, it's just a great way to deliver the product that TBT wants to see on air to viewers. Jamil, come set it, roll, pop back. One of the real priorities for TBT is access. We've got coaches might, we've got referees might, we're up close and personal with the players, and so there's a lot of audio happening, and having 16 channels of embedded audio on every LU-800 is a massive part of this show. Remy production isn't new, and certainly the pandemic has accelerated a lot of things that were already in place. The difference with Live View than what was a traditional Remy is traditional Remy is done via satellite or fiber. LiveView offers a redundancy that frankly satellite and even fiber don't. If the network on site goes down, we have cellular as a backup. And knowing that the future is not in the ground, the future's in the air. The growth is going to be in bandwidth. And so we wanted to be in a place where we were forward looking and where we were thinking about what's next for the industry, not just what the industry has traditionally been. Push. Our full-time staff in a Remy model was a match made in heaven. For a producer or a director traveling in the traditional way you would do production only allowed them to work a maximum of a couple of games a week. In a Remy environment, they could work three, maybe four games a week without traveling and have more time to dedicate toward prepping for the games that they're producing, toward building storylines and thinking about the product that they're going to put on the air. So there's a huge benefit from a cost standpoint, no doubt about it, but the reality is we feel like we're producing better shows even though we're not on site.